we're looking at is three species in this field. This is called sun hemp. These leaves, which I'm going to attempt to graze myself, are very high, very good in nutrition. In fact, pretty tasty, as a matter of fact. But they're 30% protein. And uh, these plants at this height are extremely nutritious. And when these plants fall over onto the soil, the cattle are going to consume 70% of this, but the 30% they don't eat, this adds nitrogen back to the soil. These leaves are really high in nitrogen. So this is actually building soil as well, part of the soil building capability of these plants. In fact, that's pretty good. Really tasty stuff. This will go, this will go great on a salad. The second, the second plant here, this is a millet. This is a tiff leaf millet developed by Auburn University about 25 years ago. This would be probably three times as tall if it would have had normal rainfall. This is an 80, 80 degree rainfall area. Now we're, we're, we're less than half of normal right now in rainfall this year. So, but these plants, I mean, even though this is a nice mouthful for these animals out here, they're going to eat all this off and mow it off. It's like a yard in, in another day or two. And the last plant here is most interesting. This is kale. You can buy this at the grocery store. And the kale is actually will, will grow here all winter long. This will provide nutrition in January, February, and March. The rest of these plants, the uh, millet and the, and the sun hemp, is going to die off in the first frost, which hopefully is later, the latter part of November, maybe by Thanksgiving. But the kale is also highly nutritious, and you buy it at the grocery store. And it's really pretty tasty as well. So uh, these plants are, are actually help build soil. We put a microlyzer fungi on them. Planted the seed. We put mycorrhizal fungi on the seeds. We're trying to increase the soil microbial activity. The mycorrhizal fungi is a really unique compound. Once it's active in the soil, you're probably going to increase plant output by 20, 30, 40 percent. And it's uh, it actually adds root root mass to the to the. Uh, in fact, this. Uh, oh, this millet has got lots of root hairs on it. And I think this is, even though it's been really dry, uh, these excess root hairs is due to the mycorrhizal fungi. So this is all the soil building process. We're trying to increase the capability of this farm. And, uh, but this is the, probably the first time sun hip in this part of the, in this county has ever been done in the fall of the year. This was planted the last, last four or five days of August. And here it is, you know, October, uh, October the 20th. This would have been double the, there have been double the forager if we'd had normal rainfall, but it's still amazing how much forage we've produced considering how little rainfall we've had. This has had maybe had maybe eight tenths of an inch after it's planted and had an inch ten days ago, and all this stuff pretty much doubled in height in the last ten days. So these guys are just couldn't be happier. They're, they're in what I call ice cream and cookies. But that's uh, that's what's planted in the fall seeding. The, the winter seeding it's going to have triticale, oats, ryegrass, and uh, hairy vetch, and three different forms of clover. The hairy vetch will produce a lot of nitrogen for the soil, and it'll be extremely, extremely good feed during the winter months. So we're doing some new things this year. I'm excited about it, and uh, I think we'll come back here again and uh, later on this winter. And Allie will uh, we'll, we'll have further, we'll have future reports kind of on the progress of the animals and farming the people and the and the cattle. But, what we're doing here is good for the soil, good for the rural community, good for the national community, and uh, good for consumers nationwide from babies that are like a year of age eating liverwurst to professional athletes that are dining in things like bone broth and chicken stock and, and uh, some really, really well prepared foods. So it's just exciting to be a part of a, a, a movement that makes sense. I'm looking at honeybees right now. There's a honeybee. Uh, Right here on this plant, so the bees are doing their job. And uh, there's not too many blooms you're going to find in the month of, 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 of October, but the, I think the bees are quite happy as well. I just now noticed some honeybees. So, over and out, reporting from Holland County, Alabama, October 20th. And uh, thank you for listening.